It's my feel good breakfast show. Once a week, the very eager kids here at Applewood Preparatory School take part in an environmental education project. Now, it's easy to understand why they are so inspired by their environment, situated here in the truly awe inspiring Kochelberg biosphere. They've taken it upon themselves to protect this natural heritage and, in so doing, excuse the pun, plant the seeds for future generations. The learners are involved in various outdoor projects and activities, from building an outdoor classroom or recycling to cleanups and bird watching. They take it as their duty to love and look after the environment. This is Peter Panda. Peter, nice to meet you, bro. Mm -hmm. Tell me a bit more about this amazing bear. What is Peter Panda all about? Well, he goes home with us every week and we show him um, what we do in our house that's equal. Josh, so from your perspective, tell me a little bit about uh, Peter Panda. This is his diary, so if um, whatever we do with him, we take him places and um, show him eco things and he, um, we have to write down what we did. So now I notice, Angelique, on the back here, there are fingerprint pledges. What is a fingerprint pledge? It's where you take your finger and you put it in this stuff. And then, and then you put your finger on the thing and then you're part of Peter Panda's Eco Club. It means you can come into the club and then you recycle, reduce and reuse. Can anyone join? Is it only your class? Yes. Does that mean I can? Yes. The school's garden is a delightful mix of both feinbos and produce, with each grade assigned a particular section to tend. The learners literally get their hands dirty caring for their plants and learn about sustainability in doing so. Hey, Isabella, how's it going, eh? Good. Fine. So tell me a little bit about your garden here. I mean, well, you've got some amazing produce going on here. We each get two barrels and we each get to plant some um, plants like beetroot, spinach, leeks, parsley, and we grow tomatoes in the greenhouse, but we don't only grow tomatoes. Okay, explain to me what's going on here. Why have you planted these nasturtiums in here? And why are all the caterpillars here and not on the other plants? Um, well, the nasturtiums, they distract the ca caterpillars so they don't grow on all the other plants. That is very clever. Then I see you've got a bit of a, a spray going there. What are you doing? Well, it's a spray that um, kills the insects from, um, from making your plants die. That is very clever, man. Well done. We will be setting a challenge for Kingsway. We have an eco Peter Panda bear, and now we're going to give him one. And his name is Toffee. And this is his diary that we're giving to Kingsway. These are the hints that we're doing for them. With their new diary and mascot, Kingsway College can chronicle how they're working to care for our environment and make use of the tips from their friends at Applewood. Well, today I went back to school and I received the major lesson that you never stop learning. I leave you pretty confident that this generation and all those to come who pass through these walls are going to have, yes, a respect for their environment, but also a hunger to learn about new ways of protecting that incredible natural heritage. Mm -hmm.